subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simulator Die Darkness Falls mod. As you guys can see, it is day 96, so a whole in game day has passed. And that's because I've been quite busy. I also went to the Caitlyn Traders for the day 95 reset and got some ammo. The only thing now is just to make sure it's the right side. Yep. From here, this corner over here, all the way to that side, these turrets don't have any ammo. So we need to focus on making that ammo, and then also the auto turrets on top all around don't have ammo. Um, also, I just noticed I had to actually use creative mode to spawn in two new turrets over here, because if you place a block right underneath here and you pick it up, it actually interferes with the structure integrity and drops the auto turrets on, and the shotgun turrets on that side. I was so mad when that happened. But yeah, um, I went and I repositioned the guns. Also, as you guys can see, I added new wedge tips over here and upgraded them to polished steel. And that's just because the way I rotated the auto turrets now, the ones in front of them aren't that um, effective. So the ones to the side just help block so they don't aim too far at the back. But yeah, and then also I upgraded the blade traps underneath and or rather in the middle and closest and then the last row the one we placed last that still needs to be upgraded but the rest upgraded so that's awesome and also as you guys can see i upgraded all the corners as well so i've been quite busy i didn't manage to go because remember we found that pri with all the resources this one over here um i didn't manage to go back there but i did manage to clear all the cars over here and then <laughs> i was actually mad at myself guys I went to the town for the cars, and what do you know, we can make our own engines, remember? We have a ton of the silver at the base. So I'm actually, I think I'm busy crafting 24, it might be done by now, and then we can craft a ton more. So I didn't even need to, uh, to mine all of those in that village over here, because we still have a ton. And then I also actually, I actually set a few silver aside and sold the rest, so that I could afford ammo, and now this is what we have left. So we still have a ton of cash left, and I still need to go to the traders, I believe. No, I'm waiting for the day 97 reset. So then I'm going to go to all the traders again, and the Caitlins, and hopefully they have enough ammo if we can't make some. And then also I noticed, th these are all new mistakes, guys. The engines that you can craft, and I've been complaining I don't have paper, so I can't make my shotgun shells. Well, I was reminded in the comment section that we can actually craft our own paper. I didn't even know that it was part of it. Uh, he said that it's in vanilla, and I actually had to go check because I can't remember it being in vanilla. But yeah, you can uh, make some in the chem station. So what I'm going to do is quickly go to the base, see what we can find, or we'll see what we can make over there, just to make sure we have everything over here before we go there. Don't want to go back and forth like last time. Yeah, we're just going to see how much paper we can make, how much ammo we can make. We need shotgun. Let's just count this out quickly while I'm up here. That's a shotgun turret. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe that one doesn't have ammo in. So let's say eight times three. That's 24 stacks of shotgun shells we need to make. That's actually a lot. I hope we get a, have enough time. And also the same amount more or less of ammo. Oh, also another thing. The reason this whole side's out of ammo is I actually filled up all these turrets. So all of them have three stacks each. Okay, so let's see, there is nothing over here we need, and I moved around the stuff in the chest a little bit. So everything we need for ward knights, medical, guns, ammo, in the right chest, left chest I had these things that I'm taking to the base now, and then middle chest we have building supplies and food and drink. And then obviously at the back we have the coins. Okay, so just quickly going to go to the base, and then let's see how many of those engines we can make still. Also, the engines I got from the town are actually combined. So other than the level 500s we were making, we still actually have quite a few level 600s that are combined from crappy ones. Ooh, while I'm still in the area, <laughs> I have to show you guys this. Um, it might look a little bit different here, and that's because I removed all the trees, the wooden blocks on the floor, and any yucca and aloe and stuff on the floor that you might get stuck on. All about 50 blocks out. So all these trees and corn and stuff you see over here, what I meant by logs is this. I removed all of that, all the aloe, all the yucca, everything zombies can get stuck on that's close to the base. If I'm not mistaken, the zombies got stuck more or less in this area last time. I might just have to take uh, 10 more blocks out or something. But this is actually better. It, it actually took me way faster to remove trees and obstacles like that than it would just cutting all the grass over here. 
I mean, that would take me a whole in-game week just to do that. Still haven't had the time to actually replant the farms over here and also pick the corn over there. I need to do that because I actually need a proper screenshot for if I stream again. Uh, guys, at the moment, I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming again until Alpha 17. But just if I do, then we're going to do it. We're still going to do a ton of base work on camera, uh, on videos. But I, I'm just not sure about streams. The only problem is I need the views from streams. Especially a lot of people subscribe because of the streams. Okay, let's see. That is forged. Forged. Buckshot. I'm not, if I think one of these I actually made a ton of buckshot, but I can't remember which one. Let's just make sure. Oh, this one. Uh, didn't have enough clay, and it has a ton of lead. So now, we can actually take the jaws out. We need the jaws for the glue. And then buckshot. No, oh, that's too much. It's going to spill over. So 1,000. Remember, it's stacks of 250. 250, 500, 750,000. So 500, two times. Okay, and then these we're just going to put in that chest. We actually have almost all the auto turrets required to protect this whole mega build. As you guys can see over here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. And we still need, I think, like 16 or so. Uh, we can still make four more over here. But for now, I think we're going to put these parts down here. Over here. Also, as you guys see, I, I kept these silver nuggets out after I made those engines. So we can still technically make, that's 500. Uh, 100 engines. So that's still a lot. We don't need any more silver. Any silver we get from now on, we can just use. Yeah, and as you guys can see, I have quite a few level 600s here. That's because I combined everything I had. I actually had so much that it spilled over into all three chests over here. Okay, so for now, SMG parts are going to end here. Yeah. This can actually be scrapped. There's no need to keep that. I just quickly want to em empty my inventory over here. This is all the junk that I had at the other side that was just getting in the way. Okay, now over here in the kitchen, we are busy making some gunpowder. Although I'm going to have to stop this now to be able to make the paper. Uh, we need all the jars we can get. All of these are also made. Okay, so grab these. And I already inputted... Remember we were making that sink in one of the metal workstations? I, I put it over here. So now we just fill this with water. It's a lot easier than running to the farms. I love it. Okay, so let's just see again. We need glue... Yeah, we need glue, we need wood, and we need the water. I just don't know how much of each, so let's just take everything. Ooh, that was still at the bottom. I think I'm going to leave this for more duct tape, just in case we need more repair kits. And then the rest we're going to use for shotgun ammo. So, we need wood, and that's over here. And then we need to go over here and make the paper. I still can't believe we're actually able to make paper, and I've been struggling so much. Okay, let's see. What's it using the most of? Murky water. Okay, so what we can do is put a stack in there. A stack in here. Half a stack, and half a stack. So now it's even in the amount of water. So that's 50 minutes worth. Okay, let's put that in there, and then we have to add 50 minutes worth of here, so that's 146 more or less. Okay, now... Remember, we also need to stop this. Um, I hope I don't have too much of everything else. I'm going to stop this, and then we just put it in behind. So that can craft over here. Ooh, that's a lot of paper. Remember, it only stacks to, I think, 250. So we're going to have to stay close to the base in order for that not to cook over. Damn. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to put paper. Craft. Stop this. And grab that. Okay, so for now, that is okay. And then also, we have a few things on us that we can drop quickly. And also, just fill up quickly, because as you can see, my food and water is getting a little bit low. I actually love filling myself up just almost all the way, and then eating the, uh, the stew afterwards. Let's just eat a vegetable as well, so we don't get scurvy. And some meat stew. Okay, now just one glass of water, and we should be full with everything. As you guys can see, I've actually been making quite a bit of buckshot over here. So, we can already make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 stacks. That's more than half of what we need. Awesome. Now, we just need the paper to go with that. And then we can drop the gunpowder here. And then engines. We need to grab the engines. Let's just first 
drop everything that we have extra because there's a ton of engines, guys. There's 24 engines, so we need to make the space for that. Okay, so let's see. These should all be done. And I think I'm going to combine all of these and then see how many engines I have. And then depending on how much we have, I need to actually make more. Um, I'm going to go for filling the generators that we have. So we need five. Uh, that's 20. That's 60 engines. Six zero. Because we need to combine them for level 600s. Okay, and these are the last ones. Let's see how much that is. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14... 16, 17. That's almost. Wow, we just need three more. So that's nine engines we need to make. They just make a little bit more because we keep... We are actually in a dire need of engines the whole time. And then also this one still needs level 600. It's very close though. I could technically just use this because we don't need power in gear yet. So let's just quickly combine these and then see if that gives us the three we need. It's going to save us the time of actually crafting some now, because if I'm not mistaken, it's like six or something minutes each. Or four minutes. Okay, so, no, this one. Um, grab the worst quality. This should, yep, level 600. And level 600. Please tell me this is, nope, it's not, because that one's a little bit damaged. Okay, so let's just see if we have some repair kits over here first. I uh, hope we have some over here if I'm not mistaken, most of the repair kits on the other side. Because I need... Ooh, yeah, yes. Okay, so that should give us level 600 when we combine it now. Let's see, let's see. Please make it 600. Yes. Awesome. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Exactly the amount we need. Awesome. Now, ooh, almost forgot about this. I should actually stop this and put the right amount. See, it stops at 250. And it's 8,000 left, so that's going to fill up. I might just have to go... I think this we can stop for now, the gunpowder. The gunpowder will put... Because we have already have a ton at the, or in the uh, gun safe. So all this we're going to drop here. And then we're going to have to stop this as well for now. And I'll show you why now. Um, 500,000, 1.5. So that's three 500s. Like so. Just so if we... Oh, no, 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 that's way too much. Is it 50s? Yeah, okay. Whew. Okay, so 350s, that's 1.5. So this way it won't spill over and we won't run out. But the wood might just... So 5... No, no, not 500, that's 5,000. It multiplies by 10, whatever you put in. 2, 3, like so... Okay, and then that is about 6 minutes. So yeah, it's going to be a ton of wood wasted, but I don't want to go and calculate how much I need to take out right now. And then also the other stuff we can drop in here as well, just so we know where it is. Um, let's just keep that on us. I know we, should, we could actually keep more on us. And then with this, we can quickly make some ammo as well before we leave for the other base. So now let's see. We have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks, almost nine stacks of paper. So that's eight. That's a little bit of there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a little bit. Oh. Okay, so we're just going to put this in the workbenches over here. Um, once again, we need to watch out because it can only go six. So let's do this. No, 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 not 800, 500. I should actually just do this. I mean, I actually wanted to put most of it in the one, but like this, we can actually ensure that it all finishes in time. Because we need this by day 98. So the sooner we can actually craft this, the better. Also, what I need to craft next in the forge... Ooh, we need gunpowder. A lot more gunpowder. What I want to craft next in the forges is the... Oh, actually, I actually said we have enough gunpowder, or we don't now. But yeah, like I said, in the forges, we need to craft some uh, bullet tips next. Because we want to make nine more ammo as well. So let's just do this, do this. This one is 500. And then this last one's going to be a little bit more than 500, but it's going to take the remainder. Okay, so now we have a ton of ammo waiting for us. We just need to wait for that paper and then craft even more. I actually want to make sure that we have a surplus of ammo. 
So when the, by the time the horde comes and goes, we can just refill the turrets. Because I really want to start work on this mega build, and I can't do that if I have to focus on making ammo and stuff and repairs afterwards again. I just hope I have everything on me that I need, because I keep forgetting stuff when I come here. But I have so much that I want to show you and do and stuff that I keep getting confused. Also, there's still a ton of titanium in the area to the right over here, to the west. So when I have spare time, I actually need to come here with the auger and just dig up everything I can. Or rather, just go mining, but then I'm going to get lost again. <laughs> Every time I go mining, I get lost. Okay, so I still want to upgrade all of these to concrete, like this one over here, reinforced concrete. And let's just remember, that's just for if the zombies go here and they explode, that they don't destroy the relays underneath. I just hope the explosion doesn't go through the... I thought that was a bandit versus a zombie. I just hope the explosions don't go through the plates over here. That's going to suck. And then also, as you guys can see, I replaced all the hatches with steel hatches. This way, at least, if, it ex if the zombies explode, they don't destroy the wood hatches. Okay, so this one's doing okay. Only one input. Um, remember, there's no real... I see, there's six engines, 600. So each of these, no matter if it's a large one or a small one, gives 100 watts. I just wish the bigger ones could give more watts. It would actually be worth using. I didn't uh, realize that that was the case, so that's why I made the large ones. Okay, so, let's see over here. Oh, this needs to go on the outside. Silly me. Also, guys, I don't know how many of you guys saw, but Telltale Games closed down. Uh, they're in charge of the console version of this. And now a lot of people are speculating that it's the end of 7 Age Delire, but I really doubt it. I mean, this game has so much potential. It would be really dumb of developers to just drop this game. A lot of people said, no, it's because a lot of developers won't touch this game with a 10-foot pole. How do you know? There's so much to this game. A lot of people would actually take over this game, and if they improve it, this can be a cash cow. Okay, we need to fill this with gas as well. Also, I'll need to break open the plates over here because we need to get to the relays. I can't remember if we set it yet. Remember, it needs to be set to nighttime. I really can't remember if we did that on camera or not. If I didn't, that would be, that's a dumb mistake for me. If I did, awesome. I just really hope that taking away the trees and stuff in a 50 block radius is enough. Because these trees on the right or behind me actually seem a lot closer than usual. I mean, this side I did during the night, so I just hope I got everything. But still, they shouldn't spawn that far out, especially if you're all the way over here in the middle. Remember, they spawn in a certain radius around you uh, during the horde nights. So that's way too far back. Let's just hope they spawn in the open over here. Then we know the zombies won't get stuck on stuff again like last time. I was really mad last time when they got stuck on everything and the horde just stopped because of it. Remember, you need to clear the zombies out for them to spawn again. If the zombies are stuck in the back, no new zombies will spawn, so your horde will go uh, quiet. I actually want to see how, what my game stage is at the moment. So while we're here, let's just hope I don't get attacked by dogs, because it is day 96. Two eight fifty. So hopefully by the horde it's 3,000, then we get mostly radiated zombies. I want this horde to be as challenging as possible. Also guys, I don't know if I should just fill these plates up. Hello, bandit. Okay, over here, these plates. I don't know if I should keep them, or rather upgrade them to titanium, or replace them with like blade traps and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if it's going to be too much overkill, because remember, now we do have these turrets. These turrets are actually aimed at that corner over there, so they don't get anything underneath here, but they get most of this area over here. And then the shotgun turrets are mostly pointed, I think, to this corner over here, the top one. So all the turrets are now rotated and stuff, and that should be okay for the horde. I just really hope that the rotation works and the blade traps, everything work perfectly. Because, I mean, I still need to add the gas to it, so you never know. I also need to make this tunnel bigger, but I don't have time for that right now. What I want to focus on is getting as much of this base upgraded to titanium before the horde. Also, I um, don't know how many of you guys noticed this, but remember what I said last time of putting the spotlights on switches? There were only eight... One, two, yeah, there were only eight, but now I added one more on each side, so now there's 12. Each side has its three that's connected to the switch over here, so as soon as you turn on the switch, 
It, oh, come on. <laughs> you just have to reach. Um, oh, that one's not connected. That's a good thing I see that. But as soon as I turn this on, the lights turn on, so it gives light over here, and it electrifies this curtain over here. Remember, everything's on one generator. I should actually put it on a separate generator, especially if we have enough gen uh, engines later. I actually said that we're going to uh, make more engines, and I forgot to do that. Okay, so, wire tool, before I forget. We actually need to test all of these lights, because it's going to suck during the horde if it doesn't work. That's on. This one over here. Three lights, it seems. Okay, let's just do this so we can actually see light and not just yellow. I actually wanted to paint this, but I mean, if it receives damage, the paint's going to go anyway, so there's no point. You're just going to have to repaint everything every now and then. Okay, so all of these seem to be working. Remember, the only reason I'm using one generator at the moment is there's no way a horde... Well, I hope there's no way. There's no way a horde will come from all four sides. So there's no danger of overloading the uh, generator. It's mostly just two sides, and that's... I think the generator can actually handle three sides. Like, but at, at, or two and a half, so not the full three sides. But with this, it should be able to hold that two sides, and then that is okay for one generator. Later, if they do start appearing from more than two sides, we'll definitely have to do something about that. And also, <laughs> guys, remember, this actually depletes when you use it. And then I took it out and repaired it. But I noticed you can just repair yet, and it doesn't lose quality. I don't know why I keep making new mistakes like that. Okay, now, what am I looking for? Ammo over here, repair kits over there. Oh, I wanted to do some upgrading as well. We have to go to back to the base as well. So, as soon as we've upgraded a few blocks, we need to go back to the base and then see if we can make more ammo. We need to be constantly making more ammo. Okay, let's go. Oh, while we're outside, John, don't forget. I keep forgetting stuff as well. <laughs> Okay, so while we're outside, we're just going to fill those four generators. And then I should... We have wood, so why not? Let's make those plates quickly. So we need four plates, and then as we get to a side, we're going to break those plates out and make sure those timer relays are set to 4 o'clock. Or rather, 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock. Remember, as soon as it turns 10, the zombies start spawning. So as long as the blade traps turn on before they reach it, that's awesome. And then also, we just need to remember, remember on the day of 90, uh, day 98, we need to go to each of these switches and turn them on. So that for that night, the timer relays actually work. If you forget that, that's going to be a big mess up. Okay, so the generator's here, and over here is the relay. Oh, I did set it. I wonder if I set all of them. I can't remember. I have a really bad memory these days. Okay, so put that one there. Awesome. And then also, since we're here, could have just well done it from that open block over there. Refill this quickly. Also, as you guys can remember, I should actually technically do this row over here, but the chance of this getting destroyed or damaged is very low. Most of the zombies will come through over here and then die over here. So that's why I need to upgrade these to ensure that the corpses land on proper blocks. As you guys know, at the moment, when I'm busy... Ooh, look at all the damage over here. Um, every time I'm done with a horde and I try and loot the bodies, I accidentally pick up these blocks because they're not fully upgraded. Okay, so let's just quickly start upgrading some and then I think as soon as we're done with the first row around, we'll quickly go back to the base and make more ammo. You know what? It is actually super dangerous out here, so what I'm going to try and do is do this from the inside. Uh, because remember, it is day 96, so there's a big chance that we might get some radiated bears and dogs and stuff. I'll fill in the gas and stuff before we go to the other base. Don't want to take the chance of being open like that. We do have titanium armor, so that's enough for us to get away. But if a bear stuns us on the first shot, we're screwed. Oh, that gave me a massive fright. Damn, and she actually hit me. Okay, my turn. Let's wait for her to finish swinging because she... Actually packs a punch. Also, as you guys can see, my wellness is going up now. Ooh, she bled out. Nice. But my wellness is starting to go up now, which is awesome. I wanted to reach 250, or I think we can only go to 230 because I didn't purchase the whole skill before running out of skill points. Oh, that's something else we can do, but we need goldenrod and stuff. Uh, we need to make more generic skill points, or skill notes.
Okay, so what I still need to do is repair quite a few of these of here, as you guys can see. And this is still the easy... Wait, just... The... Oh, so it's a, quite a bit of here to new repair. Um, this is actually the easy part. <laughs> Before... Remember, uh, this next horde is actually going to be like a tester. Is everything perfect or not? And then the horde after that, hopefully by then we have all of this upgraded. And then I might just add spikes and stuff should we need it. So... Uh, <laughs> Before then, or rather before that horde, I want to have all of these blocks repaired. So if it's just the slightest bit of damage, I want to go repair that. So that's going to take forever. I think a few of these blocks we can put away. For now, let's quickly go check on that ammo. And also see if we can perhaps make some generic skill notes. I don't know, we don't have ink, so we'll just have to look into that as well. No, no, no. We're going to keep this. Drop that. Um, I'm going to have to break all of them open just to make sure that I did it. I might have done it. <laughs> I'm just not sure. Okay, so that's there. Let's put this plate next to this. And then while we yeah, drop this. Oh, that's what this is for. The ammo. I was wondering why I left that chest over. That's for all the ammo that we make. So spare ammo and stuff is all going to go in there. And then as soon as the horde is done, we just grab from there and refill the chest or uh, turrets. And let's just clear out some zombies over here because they're all going to come for us as soon as we start digging over here. Man, I love the fact that this gun was given back its power. In one of the updates, it actually, or yeah, you know, the mod updates, um, it felt like it was actually nerfed a bit, but now it seems it's back to normal. Okay, so that's the generator over here is the relay. So we break this open, and then while we're here, we can just well refill this quickly, and then we should actually turn that on as well. Ah, uh, see, it wasn't set. Awesome. So it's a good thing I came checking. Ten o'clock, and then four o'clock. Just hope that while I'm here, the dogs don't show up. Four o'clock, okay, and that we can turn on and block. Just, hello, zombies. I wish more zombies could start spawning. Like, more people are dead at this time of the game, and just zombies everywhere, like Z Nation. Imagine the, uh, like, zombie, uh, wandering zombie hordes like Z Nation. That would be epic. But I think that would eat through your RAM like crazy. Uh, wrong block. Why? That one was a little bit different, wasn't it? Did we do the second last one, or second last one to there, or the first one? I could have sworn we broke through the first one. I just have to check the design, because that's going to bother the hell out of me. Okay, set that one, and the time. So I'm just going to do the last one as well, and then make sure the other one's generator is on, and then I'll see you guys back at the base. To think, I still need to upgrade every single block out here. At least with the nail gun, it's going to be fast, but it's still going to be time consuming. I just want to wait until after the horde, then we know we are in the clear. We don't have to worry about zombies showing up. Okay, forge room. Over here, we need to put more into the forge. So just to make sure everything is still cooking some forged titanium. Guys, this isn't even going to be enough. Not nearly enough to upgrade everything. We might need like, uh, because the stack has a thousand. We might just need like five or so stacks. To be able to really upgrade everything. Okay, so backshot is done over here. I think I'm also going to make a few turps. Bullet tip. Okay. So this stacks to 500. So that's 2,000 we can make. I always want to make sure that there's nothing spilling over. Because sometimes it just... It spills over and you lose all of that. You don't always, It doesn't always spill over into your inventory when you open it up. Okay, the ammo over here should be done as well. And then the paper is def- ooh, first the paper. The paper is definitely done. Remember the fires are cooking for nothing uh, right now. Okay, so we're going to grab these, 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 the wood. And we're just going to make sure that 50 is going all the time. Or the- I should actually put in 150 because that's the amount we need. 1,500. So 150. Mix. I don't even want to know how much wood I just wasted. At least we have thousands upon thousands of wood, so it doesn't really matter. I just realized we are almost out of gunpowder. We have enough paper for now. So technically we can put away the paper and then just grab the gunpowder. I mean, gunpowder is going to be just as important as the, as the paper. And we should have enough stacks of paper now to finish the required amount. Okay, so let's just see what maxes out this. So we take a stack of this, leave a stack, and take a half stack of this. So now it should be even out more or less. That is enough wood. Uh, almost. Remember, in this one I put an extra stack, but in the other one I didn't. Okay, and then over here. 
So afterwards, I'll just keep on making paper, but for now, we need gunpowder. We are in desperate need of gunpowder. Uh, almost there. And then we're going to drop most of the wood over here. Bottled work, water, and the glue and stuff. Okay, let's see how much more ammo we can make. Uh, I know we still have some in the workbenches, but let's just see first. Gunpowder. We're definitely going to run out of gunpowder first. Because we have a ton of buckshot and a ton of paper, but almost no gunpowder. Also, the gunpowder that I'm making now is going to go. have to go for 9 more ammo first. I am going to go to the Caitlin's in day 97, but... Until then, we can't be too sure or too certain. Okay, so 500 in this one. Pretty ironic. This one was the one with the most in. Now it's the one with the least in. Okay, so we need gunpowder now. But like I said, we're going to wait until I have some 9 more ammo first. Let's just drop all of the paper and buckshot over here. And then also now, let's see generic. Um, oh no, we have to check in the... table over here writing desk okay so we're looking for generic skill notes these are the ones that actually give you extra skill points so for this we're going to need two ink per and for ink the cheapest is four goldenrod four chrysanthemum and four cotton so we don't have nearly enough of that we'll actually need to uh, actually plant those and also go scavenge for more of those plants i think cotton isn't that big of an issue but the chrysanthemum especially we don't have so the sooner we can make the ink, because each of these skill notes gives you one extra skill point. And at the moment, our skills are looking... We only have 16 points. So if I want to go for a higher health nut, that's 25 points. I need 9 more. So that's 18 ink times 4. That's how much we need of goldenrod and everything. And then also, the rest of the skill points, I actually want to go into my gun skills. Okay, I think we should get this one first, so we can ensure that our guns are overpowered during the hordes. And then we'll go for the health nut one. But yeah, other than that, so we can actually technically go to 240 wellness. It's a good thing I saw that, because we need to go up. Okay, so I'm just going to stick here by the base a bit, and make sure all of this is crafting. Next up, I have to make sure that we can make some 9 more ammo. And then, yeah, um, I think we might be seeing you again during the Horde. If not, then it'll be episode just before the Horde. So if you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, any design ideas I can use for over here for these slots, let me know down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.